What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and today we're inside of Adobe After Effects. And what we're going to do here is that we're going to redo one of my older videos, which was called After Effects Set Font Size and Color, and uh, more HD quality instead of that little tiny frame that it used to be. Let's go ahead and jump in. Let's create a new composition. And we're going to leave our uh, dimensions at 55309. It doesn't really matter the size. Then we're going to click on the text tool. And just click here and say dark dark effects. And let's move it right here in the middle. Okay, now with our um, um, text here selected, let's go over here to characters. And then we can increase the size here or get your selection tool and hold down shift and you can increase the size this way and then we can go over here and we can choose our color we can have it uh, a white on white can't even see it let's give it a grayish color and then we can uh, go over here and change our font size let's see there we go or the one that I usually use for this one, which is Metal Macabre. And then we can go in and set it to our center. And then make it just a little bit smaller. Okay, and uh, so that is basically you work with your text and within your character and paragraph areas here. If your text or your character tab is not showing, you go over here to window and you scroll down and then you find the characters tab. So if it's not there, click and then choose character tab. And then we can easily animate this one with its position. Let's uh, go ahead and move it out right there and add a keyframe, bring it into four seconds, and then bring it back into our center uh, right up in here. Move our title action safe, and now we can animate our text in very slowly. Okay, and let's bring that back so that we just grab a hold of this and there we go let's move this keyframe in just a little bit about right up in there that way we can really make it come out a lot quicker and there you go and we also can change the um, the opacity so that whenever it comes out it's zero and then by the time it gets to the end, let's put it about 95. And then that way it'll fade in as it's coming in. Okay, there you go. That's how you use the text tool with a little bit of animation to uh, really make your project stand out just that much more. All right, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week.